Well, hello again, everybody, and welcome to the DSC University. I'm Wayne English, and today's short video is going to be on the 5123055-11 one fifth horsepower condenser fan motor and the 51-23053-11 one third horsepower condenser fan motor. Uh, these motors are used in multiple replacements, and we sell hundreds, if not thousands, of these replacement motors a year. So what we want to do is look at the proper wiring for these because I get a lot of questions about them, and it's sometimes pretty easy to miswire them. So we're going to take a look at the wiring diagram that comes in the box with them, look at some things at it, then we're going to take a look at a couple of wiring diagrams that I've made up that might be a little bit clearer. So here's our wiring diagram that comes in the box. When you get these, the first thing you want to find, you want to figure out is am I replacing a motor that is a three-wire hookup or a four-wire hookup? The majority of the times on the older uh, rude condensers and heat pumps, you're going to be replacing a motor with a three-wire hookup. Um, of course, unless you get back to some really, really old stuff, uh, we're going to be looking at a unit with, it is, with the motor mounted shaft down, so our rotation is going to be counterclockwise opposite shaft in. That's what this stands for here. So the vast majority of the replacements are going to use this uh, wiring diagram in the upper right hand side. Uh, so let me go over that with you real quick. We have five wires on this motor. Orange goes to the common on the uh, capacitor, whether it's a single or a dual capacitor. Purple goes to the fan side of the capacitor if it's a dual capacitor. Then there is going to be another orange wire that comes off the common and goes to one side of our contactor. Black goes to the other side of the contactor. The brown and yellow are wire nutted together. I know this doesn't look like a wire nut. It looks like a dot on the wiring diagram, but you actually have to strip and wire nut those two wires together for this, uh, for this particular uh, wiring diagram. Now here's that same wiring diagram, but I've made it a little bit more uh, descriptive. So we've got our fan motor. Our orange wire is going to common on the dual capacitor. Purple is going to fan on the dual capacitor. Black is going to one side of the contactor. Then we have an orange wire that's going to already be in the unit that's coming off common going to the other side of the contactor. Yellow and brown are wire nutted together. This is in an AC hookup, AC three wire hookup. If we have a heat pump three wire hookup, the only thing that's going to be different, we're still going to have orange going to common on our dual capacitor. There will already be an orange wire that goes to one side of the contactor. Purple goes to the fan side of the dual capacitor. Yellow and brown get wire nutted together. We're going to take the black common off the condenser fan motor, and we're going to go to the fan terminal on the defrost control, which is then going to have another black wire that's going to go to the other side of the contactor. Hope that clears this up for you on wiring the 5123055-11 one fifth horsepower condenser fan motor and the 51-23053-11 uh, one third horsepower condenser fan motor. Thanks again. I'm Wayne English from the DSC University.